abusiana no kwesiada yante asempa na ye nua anase ye papa kuda a oye nyumtuni a chese waji din e organa hasi pa ye no e, na no kwesiada na e, ye benya ne ntie se wafrim na ye papa e, richmond boatin a oyudi fo akasa mom nyin kuti mra o friend kuda was a bibi sir you call him kuda but who do say? The prophet of God is saying that. They have a pata, a pata, a pata, They have. And yet, a nijian tin, a pata. It is not because of good news. But who do say? The prophet is saying that. I don't know if you are a tuna, 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 you All kinds of musicians are gathering in Takura. Me or D4. Now, your papa didn't catch and call me at two honum and sana. Yeah, me and I say, papa could that. be free mu. Na kuda din kan cheche nsin bebre secret bia okan e momye nkoti emra efa eh ne yare a na edi ne ko wu mu no momye nkoti emra 20 my wife tells me it's 2015 i always thought it was 2016 but 2015 um i put myself up under a bit of stress and then i wasn't getting enough rest and exercise too at the same time both of them so the body just was not reacting well. So I think one, one of the evenings I wasn't feeling too well. So my wife carried me along with my big sister and I was taken to a hospital in Takrani. Uh, I won't mention the name of the hospital. Now, I want you to, I'm, I'm giving a few details so that you understand my side of the story. <laughs> and then maybe you can understand the medical people to their side of the story. And then you decide. So, and it's all about Fluffy. Hold on, I'll get to that part. So what happened was this. Um, I think we got there around, if I'm not exaggerating, we got there around, say, 9.30 or 10 in the evening, 9.30.10 in the evening. I remember that because um, somebody was brought in shortly after I was taken there. The guy came at 11. Uh, he was on my left-hand side, two beds away. Uh, he died at 2 a.m. So I, I kind of remember that a bit well. So forget about that detail. It's not really important. So it, it was a night. So, um, hmm. I mean, I was asked a few questions about my general health. You are getting the same. And by morning, I, I saw a doctor, they prescribed something for me and I was immediately given some form of medication to take. And then they grounded me there for like two days before releasing me and then gave me medication, asked me to take it and then keep reporting myself from time to time. Now, I started developing I started developing some funny, funny symptoms here and there. One, one, hmm. you let me cut that part too out. So let's say I developed a few symptoms here and there over time. And I noticed something was, was, was not right. So I remember one day being bold enough to Google the, the medication I was given. I Googled it. I wanted to find out exactly what it was. And I noticed that one major element that I was told to take was a sulfur-based, please hang in there, you would get the story very soon, was a sulfur-based medication, sulfur as in the element sulfur, S-based medi medication. And immediately I told myself that, but I know that I am. I have a medical condition called G6PD. 
abusiyan fo ye betu video no so na koda kase no te so ko kase yare e wo no so e ye G6PD deficiency and G6PD deficiency na me be breaking it down kakra bi e di amao e G6PD deficiency no ye fa no abusiyan sa yare bi se no ye fa no abusiyan e na e da screen no so no hu underline where so na hu se in fin fin hono, deficiency is an Jesus PD deficiency is an inherited condition usually occurring in males. And to whom say, Ye funnel a busium. A beam is no bad down hono, a boom says symptoms. Symptoms now hono, no, or say it includes fever, dark urine. Ness old Jonsa, a tuntum, but Jonsona, a tuntum, a area no de pa. Abdominal and back pain, fatigue, and a pale skin. Inti no sa wote GSPD deficiency if you could anwa na ASA e na ete yento a video nusu GSPD eh we some say something something about us you are getting a thing but I know for sure that so far is one of the things that we are not supposed to take so things like bluffing and stuff like that I've known since I was in tech that I'm not supposed to touch bluffing. And so I was like, ah, by the people, why they won't kill me or something like that? <laughs> you get it? Because I'm talking about I had taken the thing for over six, getting to eight months of ingesting this thing on a daily basis. Can you imagine? So we scheduled some form of a, a, a review or checkup with the doctor. I went over, I get a little emotional when I talk about this thing, like, forgive me. So we scheduled a uh, uh, check up with the doctor, and I told the doctor that, ah, but why am I being given medication that contains sulfur if I'm just a speedy? Because you know that we are not supposed to be taking these things, and you guys are aware about these things. Uh, to cut a long story short, all they said was, Oh, sorry, oh. I'm serious. And then, uh, uh, by by being a bit defensive, you know, to, you know um, I don't know, I remember exactly who, but somebody who was part of the medical whole team that was taking care of me said, ah, but also work with school. And so what does the mona say? Why don't you talk about it? Hey, and all of a sudden, it was like some blame shifting me was coming into the thing that, hey, uh, I am old enough to know when I'm being given wrong medication. Then I said, hey, Samum. Um, so this was my resolve since that day. I will not disrespect nurses or disrespect pharmacists. I will not disrespect <laughs> doctors. But I can't take your word for it anymore. Uh, when, 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 when I'm given something, I want to Google it myself. I want to find out when I come and sit in front of you, I will not be quiet. I will talk. I will tell you that, Hey, my guy, <laughs> I'm Jesus speedy. I pray you're not giving me anything that will, will harm me. I'm not supposed to be on. I, and it will sound like, yes, you are being all over the place. You are being too known. As we say, we used to say in my primary school. You are getting anything that I got. You are getting anything, but it will save me from being a guinea pig. Sorry for the use of the oh, the white pig came up. Oh, that's nice. It will save me from being a guinea pig, and from you just telling me at the end of the day that oh, I am sorry. Hey, who is that? Somebody says, Makoda, she's your wife. What has God's grace got to do with the wife? Hey, don't even start. Don't even start. What is your name? Theophilus. Theophilus. Some people's wife, they pick the... <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, let's not even discuss that issue, please. I have my wife by grace. I still insist it's by God's grace. You think you think it's by, by right that we are able to get married or by right that God gives you somebody who is able to live with you it's grace who anchor. You may not worry. 
So, whoever you are, or you, me, and you will talk later. It, it is by grace. I'll say it again. It's by grace that I have a wife. When <laughs> you have the least idea, let me. Okay, so let me. Let me because you brought it up. Let me say that in passing. I have a studio engineer friend of mine whose wife goes through his phone every evening when he comes back from work and is calling the, the numbers to find out that who did the husband work with and is asking there, uh, into our, why, why are they from uh, show the judgment in their friend now. And why are you doing this? Them girl or Juana, who came to the studio today? Who did this thing? Please. Erama is my wife <laughs> and it's by God's grace that I got a woman like her. Did you accept it? Asa. Very, very good. <laughs> let us let us jump to that one. Let us jump to that one. It is well. Hey, uh, Ice Papa, I see you. It says white bearded coda. Shall I ice half or do? Half or do, half or do. Come on, you can't make money. If we don't pray about it. Now I want us to pray and shift this cloud from this part of the upper country. Amen. Are you in this place? Yes, Lord. Nah, the person is not here, so we can't delve deep into it. This afternoon, when the prophet was there, the angel came to him. He stretched his hand on the wall. He began to show the prophet imagery. And he saw a lot of things concerning the land tetradic. One of the things he saw that he was not pleased with. And he saw that somebody has shot an arrow. And the thing has hit him. And it is actually forming on the heart. Now, are there any critical problem, dear man? And the thing is giving him problems. They are not careful. If we are not careful, Obenya, one of those huge organs, I won't nip it, dear man. Nehonam akranu dadi. Problem, Baba. A problem will come. But any answer, Baba, it won't be a good news. No one can for Raho. The man of God is seeing people sad. You catch them ready. We are telling the Lord. If you are not ready, you don't buy it. In this house, we are going to put on the boss. Amen. Now, only the panel free sounds super.